The I team has obtained evidence in a murder case against two teens. We thank you for joining us at five. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Janice Valdez. Video, photos, receipts, text messages. Prosecutors point to a trail of evidence. The I team's Vanessa Murphy first broke this story, and she's here now with what the I team has uncovered. Denise and Brian, Sierra Halseth is just 16 years old. Aaron Guerrero is 18. Cell phone video shows them talking about a murder before they were taken into custody in Utah. Police say their parents had told them they couldn't see each other anymore. Their plan was to run away together to California. Then Daniel Halseth, Sierra's father, was found dead. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. <laughs> After learning. Day three after <laughs> murdering somebody. Whoa! Don't put that on the camera. It was worth it. The I team obtained text messages between Sierra Halseth and her grandmother. This would be Daniel Halseth's mom. She texts Sierra that she's trying to get a hold of her dad and asked where he is. Sierra's response, his phone has been acting up. It should be fixed by tomorrow. No worries with a smiley face. This continued until Friday. Daniel Halseth's mother realizing something wasn't right. Eventually, two friends visit his home and find his body. By that point, Point. Police say the teens had left and just taking a look at the many photos from inside the home. The crime scene was not cleaned up. That's part of the trail of evidence prosecutors are now pointing to. Back to you. And Vanessa Sierra, House's mother, is someone who's been in the public eye, right? What have we heard from her or really anyone else in the Halseth family? Yeah, Elizabeth Halseth is a former Nevada state senator. She has not spoken publicly about the allegations against her daughter. She and Daniel Halseth had divorced and she's since remarried. As for Daniel Halseth's side of the family, before we aired this story, I reached out to a family member who's been the sort of point person. She says the family is declining to comment at this time, but we certainly, you know, wanted them to know that we'd be reporting more on this case. This whole situation obviously is tragic and we want to be respectful as we report this. Vanessa, thank you for that.